At the University of Texas Medical Branch, known as UTMB in Galveston, researchers Randall Urban and Larry Denner are working with stem cells that can be coaxed into producing insulin. So we look at the cells here and we can tell just by looking at them under a regular microscope how they're growing. Type 1 diabetes patients like Pamela Phelps view such research with great anticipation. Well, I've been praying since I was 15 that they'd find a cure or um, at least, you know, better ways to understand it and be able to deal with it on a daily basis. Regular injections of insulin keep diabetics like Phelps alive. The insulin compensates for the inability of her pancreas to produce the hormone that regulates glucose in the blood. That's where Larry Denner and the UTMB research comes in. We can look and see, for example, if the cells that we've engineered now can make insulin. We have very specific ways to look using microscopy and antibodies to, that, that can specifically detect whether these cells make insulin. In the laboratory, Denner and his team have been able to engineer insulin-producing cells from stem cells drawn from umbilical cord blood. The cells we work with are derived from the umbilical cord that is a part of every birth of every baby on the earth every day. And typically that material is discarded as medical waste. Denner says despite the end of the Bush administration restrictions on embryonic stem cell research, he will continue to use stem cells from fresh umbilical cords. He says these stem cells can differentiate into a wide variety of cell types, and because the cells do not have full immune functions, they cannot be rejected. But Denner says the lifting of restrictions on embryonic stem cell research will also help his effort by generating more information on how stem cells develop into organ cells. In the distant future, Denner says stem cells from umbilical cord blood might be able to create a complete pancreas for transplanting. But for now, he's focused on setting up human trials to see if insulin-producing cells created in his laboratory will help diabetes patients. Even though research is proceeding slowly, Phelps says it's beginning to provide a vision of a better future. Well, I feel very helpful, extremely helpful, because um, without them, you know, where, where would we all stand? We wouldn't, we would, you know, we'd, we'd have to give up, but I, I don't feel like giving up. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Galveston, Texas.